Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do a review on red cherry guavas. Now this is our red cherry guava tree and it's fruiting at the moment. Um, the fruit are just ripening up. You can see all, this, all these red fruit. Um, and they do ripen towards the end of autumn into winter. So it's a good fruiting tree to have um, that ripens when a lot of other things don't, except for citrus of course, ripening in the winter. Now this is um, really frost hardy. Um, it's an evergreen tree but it can handle temperatures as low as negative 5 degrees Celsius, so quite a bit below freezing. Um, and that's why we've planted it, because it's hardy, it's evergreen, so it looks nice all year round. And then in the winter you've got the nice looking fruit. This tree is quite compact, it will only grow to 2-4 to four metres, um, but of course you can keep it even smaller than that just with pruning. The fruits can be eaten just straight off the tree, you just pick them off and eat them. Or you can use them in jams, jellies, uh, chutneys, sauces. So yeah, there's quite a lot of uses for these things. Um, I'm not too fond of the fruit myself, but I've read that they are rich in vitamin C and a good source of potassium and dietary fibre. So I might start eating them just for the health benefits alone. And they're not really too bad. Um, so I'll take you in closer so you can have a good look at the foliage and the fruits. And then I'll try one and let you guys know what I think. So as for the foliage, the leaves are quite thick, which um, allows them to be frost tolerant, I guess but they're a nice green colour and the new growth has a sort of nice bronzy red colour to it um, so that's always nice to have that new growth and a bit of extra colour uh, here's some more fresh growth as well and these are the fruits over here so it's loaded up with quite a bit of fruit now to tell that they're ripe if you take it off the tree just give it a press and if it's um, soft to the touch or has a bit of give in the skin then it's ripe and also just the colour, it's quite a deep dark red so let me try this now it's actually way better than I remember um, it sort of has a sweet tangy flavour to it and um, the only thing that I don't really like is that it has these quite large seeds in there which are sort of like eating ball bearings, they're that hard but um, they are edible, you can swallow them so um, if you just ignore them and just focus on the flavour it's definitely not bad at all, so I think I might um, eat these now, um, I quite like them. I think I may not have liked them in the past just because I've eaten them too unripe. And um, yeah, that could be why I didn't like them. So I've cut a few of these up just to show you what they look like a bit better on the inside. And um, there's some seeds in there that you can sort of see. And yeah, quite a nice um, white coloured flesh in there. So. Not a bad fruit at all. I um, give it a, I don't know, 6 out of 10. How about that? Um, so thanks for watching everyone. And if you enjoyed, subscribe to my channel and look out for other videos coming out soon. Thanks again and have a good day.